Real Housewife Jen Shaw pleads guilty to ripping off old people. Johnny Depp settles his assault case that was scheduled to go to trial this month. And Lindsey Graham is ordered to testify in front of a special grand jury in Georgia about the 2020 election. Today was a wild day in legal pop culture news. Let's kiki about it. A week before Salt Lake City housewife Jen Shaw's trial was set to kick off in a Manhattan federal court, she changed her plea from not guilty to guilty. There was a plea agreement. She pled guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud. In exchange, the prosecutors dropped the conspiracy to commit money laundering charge. Judge Sidney Stein accepted Jen's guilty plea and ordered her to pay $9 million in restitution and $6.5 million in forfeiture. The sentencing guidelines were set at 135 months to 168 months, which is about 11.25 years to 14 years for the charge. Jen agreed that she would not appeal this if the sentencing was 168 months or less. Now, Judge Stein isn't bound to this sentencing agreement. He can impose the maximum penalty of 30 years. Jen's former first assistant on the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City show, Stuart Smith, pled guilty back in November 2021. He was set to testify against Jen, but since there's no trial, that's obviously not happening. Stewart is still awaiting sentencing. There are three important dates for this upcoming sentencing. November 7th, which is the deadline for the sentencing submission of Jen Shaw's team. The defense will submit letters and accolades, really anything to try to get Jen the least amount of time. Then November 14th is the U.S. Attorney's sentencing submission where they will recommend how much time Jen should get and why. And then November 28th, which is the Monday after after Thanksgiving at 2.30 p.m., the actual sentencing hearing. But the legal news doesn't end there. Johnny Depp was scheduled to be back in court this month in LA for an assault case, but it seems that was settled. Greg Brooks was a location manager on the set of City of Lies, the notorious B.I.G. movie. And in April 2017, he said that Johnny Depp attacked him, punched him twice in the ribs. Johnny, of course, has denied these allegations, but it seems there has been a settlement. The terms of the settlement have not yet been released, but it looks like Johnny will not have to go to court for this alleged assault. Switching over to government legal news, Lindsey Graham lost in court today. He, along with six other Trump allies, had been subpoenaed by the Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis. Willis called a special grand jury to probe the alleged attempt to overthrow the 2020 presidential election. Lindsey Graham had said he was not going to comply with the subpoena or cooperate with the election probe. But a Georgia judge said, no, that's not going to fly, and said that Graham was a necessary and material material witness to this grand jury probe. And we know Rudy Giuliani was also subpoenaed as part of this probe, so we'll see if he also tries to fight it. Make sure you're subscribed to me here on YouTube, and you're also following me on IG at The Talk of Shame for up-to-the-minute pop culture news.